when we replace one hydrogen by halogen in organic compound so that new organic compound is known as alkyl halides basically alkyl halides are the derivatives of alkanes if we replace one hydrogen in alkane from uh, through uh, and then we replace that hydrogen by halogen which is basically chlorine fluorine bromine and iodine so the new compound is known as alkyl halide or haloalkanes but here in this video i'll be talking about the structure of alkyl halide they basically which type of hybridization take place in alkyl halide in alkyl halide the general formula is we have a uh, cn h2n plus 1 and x where n is number of carbon atoms and here x represent functional group so we have take the first member of alkyl halide which is basically methyl chloride ch3 and cl this is the general structure you can see carbon hydrogen 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 and bonded with chlorine but in reality do you know carbon have only two valence electron in their outermost shell so how carbon can make four bond this is a great question so here basically hybridization take place hybridization mean the mixing of orbital take place so how orbital mix in the form four atomic orbital so let's have a look so here we have basically um, first we will look at the electronic configuration of carbon so we know that carbon has six electron so electronic configuration of carbon is in this way 1s2 2s2 and 2p2 you can see here in our remote shield there is only two electron if we further zoom this atomic orbital in 2s2 because 1s2 does not take part in chemical reaction it is core shield so this we have 2s atomic orbital which have two electron in this we have 2p which is further composed of three atomic orbitals this is we have p x p y and p z you can see so here it has only two electron this is first electron and this is second so basically what happened here this one is electrons move toward pz so in this way it complete their pz atomic orbital now this one is and 3p mix with each other so this 3p and one is now mix with each other so they form a four, four new atomic orbitals which is basically known as hybrid atomic orbital in this type of hybridization is known as sp3 hybridization because 3p and 1s atomic orbital mix with each other so here p have characteristics of uh, 75% and s characteristic is 25% so in case of alkyl halide now sp3 hybridization take place so this is basically we have the first sp3 atomic orbital this is the second sp3 this is the third sp3 this is the fourth sp3 now it is bonded with three hydrogen and one chlorine so we know that this is we have hydrogen hydrogen and hydrogen and we know also know that hydrogen has one electron in the outer motion so its electronic configuration is in this way 1s1 so sp3 directly bond with s atomic orbital of hydrogen with s of another hydrogen and s of another hydrogen so this is basically sigma bond means linearly they overlap overlap with each other so here they form sp3 bonded with s sp3 bonded with s and sp3 bonded with s and these three are sigma bonds now the last one is which is bonded with chlorine 
So we know that chlorine has atomic number 17. So now we will write the electronic configuration of chlorine, which is in this way. 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 P 6 and 3 S 2. Now we will count 2, 2 and 6. It becomes 10 and 2. It becomes 5. And the remaining one is 3 P 5. So it means that in outermost shield, which is basically 3 P, it is in this way. Is we have 3p orbital and it composed of three sub orbital is pz, py and phi, uh, px, py and pz. And it has five electron in this way. One, two, three, four, and five. So, and we know that in one orbital there are only two electron can accumulate. So it need only one atomic uh, electron. So here pz bonded with sp3 this is we have phi z and they form also sigma bond in this way carbon complete their valency valency so the remaining one is sp3 bonded with pz atomic orbital and it is also sigma bond sigma bond means they linearly overlap on the other way the opposite of sigma bond is pi bond in which basically Bond is formed due to sidewise overlapping like this. This is we have phi bond. I have already explained uh, sigma and phi bond. You can watch from the playlist. So in this way, carbon complete your valency. So I hope the structure of alkyl chloride is clear now. Thanks for watching.